on, you. Go on, you. Well, you tense up, bro. Go on. Why are you so violent on a Monday evening, bro? I was there that week. I know you were, bro. You should be happy, man. Cup final. You're in. You're on course for the Golden Glove. I don't think I made a catch last week. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm trying to help you right now, big man. You're not helping. <laughs> Can I get a score prediction and if you're going to get a clean sheet at least? Um, 2-1. No clean sheet? No clean sheet. Can we have some hope for the clean sheet? Um, <laughs> nah. Nah, 2-1. A decent team. Yeah. That's where Tim goes come from, so... And um, they've got a strong, stronger team out than they've played so far, so... I hear it, I hear it. It's it. I hear it still. It's the only time I'm ever gonna get you to be honest. Lonely. I'm so lonely. I have nobody. <laughs> Finish. Oh! Hello, lad. So this is this is what you turn up with on a Sunday. Fancy schmancy, is it? Yeah, just about. Are you feeling cup final? Excited. Yeah. Ready to win. Score prediction. Three no academia. Yes. Joe's got no faith in him having a clean sheet today. If we get clean sheet today, we get most clean sheets. Today. Yeah, we do. Golden glove. It's coming home. Any goal scores? Um, going off who I knew is in the team, I didn't know to start in the lineup, but I'm going to go corner. Key again. That overhead kit's going to give him confidence. 100%. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, too. Let me help. And then, what about verbals? You always love to give the ref some verbals. Is he? <laughs> is he gonna get them? Gonna try and be on my best behaviour today. We'll see how long that lasts. Yeah, <laughs> Start this chat off. Like I'm wrong gonna open the floor straight away because it's kind of a weird one. No, you're not saying that again. No. Nah. <laughs> it won't make the cut, big man. It won't make the cut. It, we'll be here for a minute. it can't make the cup. What? Water. Nah, nah. Got, yeah, got to be hairspray, nice and solid. I need it. I, I gotta keep it out of my eyes, especially when I'm chasing down all of these loose balls. Uh, considering there's probably only 60 minutes left of free season, I'll try my best today. That's all I can say. I'll try my best today. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, 100%. Have you got any intel from this team? Yes, I do. What's the intel that you have? Tim Timbo says that they like to play they like to play good football and they got good movement in midfield, so we'll see. Does that mean they got good one or two players? Uh, yeah, I I think hey, so. Hey, hey. I mean, I was gonna do. Yo, 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 I you know the word there is that what the contract's on? Undisclosed. <laughs> What? Yeah! Lion! How are you, lad? Why? Have we done the cup final up here already? Oh, yeah. How'd that go? One? Yeah? Yeah. I left there with wet hair, man. Fucking champagne all over my hair, mate. <laughs> or whatever cheap shit they <laughs> Yeah, man, let's do it again. Yeah, Monday service, okay. cup final. Oh, they've just scored. <laughs> that was some booky own goal. Last night, 
won their first ever Olympic medal. Come on. In a triple jump. Come on. So I'm in a mood today. Like some, some. Speak. Speaking of first ever, our first ever GFA tournament entry, our first ever cup final. That's it. That's it. Bring them in. So this is going to be... Out, I put out a tweet in response to the academia. Yeah. That said, tell Granny to lock her cabin. Haven't her. It's been coming from the silverware. Just don't even breathe. Stand in. Get in. Well, first voyage into the GFA tournament. First cup final. Are you feeling how you see in the game? Walking on clouds. You've had what? About four days to relish. Yeah. Just over there. About 50 yards from us right now. And what we saying? About four and a half foot off the floor. I reckon. From where we were. <laughs> hey, I tell you what. Yeah, I'm doing it for the big guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm <Dude>. doing <laughs> we, These are our show. Big, so <laughs> big man can fly. What's your prediction for today? Oh, gee, man. Do you know what? I think we're going to go big today. I want you to score in the I first five minutes hit, again. We're going to hit. Huh? I want you to score in the first five minutes again. If you get honestly, key, if you do, and more, more importantly, yeah, I want you to run all the way, to, all the way. <laughs> so again, keep me off on the sideline, you know, at least two minutes. Let me recover. The diesel ain't got that much in the tank. But I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to go freeze it. Freeze it. Freeze it. Um, we're going to hear someone in the background who is absolutely a menace. Guess who? I've heard about you, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. I've heard you've been causing trouble on this pitch, big man. What have you been up to? <laughs> I, you know what? There's a lovely saying, right? Here we go. What is, that, what is that saying? Some say what? Some say, <laughs> moment of bliss. Oh my God! Yes! 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 Now we're about to see the tallest brother in the world. Six foot nine and a half of pure Timbo. <laughs> Ball cutting on the right and fast, but ideally, you're just doing your thing today, yeah? So Sam's going to be on his right foot to cross the ball today when he's high and wide, and then Connor's going to be there to cut in or potentially go on his left foot and shoot, yeah? Changes that I'll be making at half time, so when we go outside, I'll tell you where you're coming when you know that. Uh, in the middle especially, I like how Hadj and Jib were sitting, yeah, uh, no did he? I like how they were sitting in the middle, um, literally, they were, they were just bumping at each other, in terms of when Hadj went, Jibs was sitting, central. When Jibs went, Hadj was there central, and it was pivotal for me, yeah, in terms of I, I need a DM that's just going to be there to shadow the back four and understand that you're not there for the lights and the glory like all the attackers are, you're going to be in the dark most of the time where you're not going to get much recognition and that's how it goes being there but you're super important to the team. You're the DM that holds it down for you and I need someone there. Yeah, hands pace in when you're ready bro. Right, hands in boys. Head of pace on that left hand side and right. right. Anyone, anyone got something? Anyone got something? Just to say, just to say, listen. The last time, 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 the last time,
So let's do that again. Yeah, man, same I'll, again. I'll, my, I'll use my shampoo. All right, nice and loud. <laughs> loud is one of the tournaments. Yeah, man, let's go. I can do it on me. I can, I can do it on three. One, two, three, I can do it on three. Wow. Academia family, you know what we do. Let's have a butchers at the formation. We have our ever present number one, Joe in goal. A back four made up of Marlon at left back, Mr. Lion Part right back. A centre back partnership that can't be broken right now, Alex and Timbo. A midfield three made up of Hadge and Jib sitting, Toots in the 10. A front three, Connor on the left. Sam on the right, and the diesel up top. Five subs, TJ, Tyler, Ethan, Rago, and Ronnie. Let's get it. Academia family, and we're back once again with the boy Tupi kicking us off. This is the finals. This is the big game. All the rest of the games are not as important as this one. Jamaica Bell. What do we know about them? We know they're a Saturday league team. We've heard that they brought their best team out for us. But do we expect any different? No. Lion Paw on the right hand side of the pitch on a throw in. Let's get into it. We know they're go they're going to be a tricky customer, you know. Jamaica Bell's going to be a, a tricky customer, but they're going to be a team that works hard. Every player running till they can't run no more. But again, we don't know much about them, so it's a case of facing who we face in front of us. Here's their number 16 on the ball, and to be honest, they were bopping it a bit. So, you, as you can see, early doors, they're going to be a team that's going to press. They're going to be a team that's going to try and play some football. So, it should be a good game, especially for the punters. George doing his due diligence on the side, telling the punters to stand back, let him record, let him do his job, let him work. Adj. Jacks by Key. Connor's got to it now. He's 1v1 with their number four. He's cut in, he took a strike. And Key couldn't get to the rebound. He's come to him too quickly, but hey. The connection. Key and Connor is there. The connection's there. And he started early. Joe, captain throughout the tournament, is only right. He captains us through the final. Key, making a run through Kong, couldn't pick that one out there. Now they're number 16, plays that one down the line. Tim sprinting back, jockeying. Can he stand up against the number nine? The number nine brings it into the middle. Hasn't done really much at all. Tim's back out once more. The punters obviously hasn't been listening to George. He's losing his left lung by screaming so much. Oh, and the weights by Ali. And Marlon. He's had a bad touch there, but we all have them. We all have them. But as a family club, we stick together. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake, the next one you make sure is better. Don't beat yourself up about it. It is what it is. We just make sure we don't make too many of them. So from that, it's going to be a Jamaica Bell corner. Tease, there's no way I'm on the pitch and you're still in the way. Conversation between Colin the Gaff. Back to the action. Jibs throws himself at it, gets the ball away just like we needed. Jamaica Bell, their number 11, plays that into the middle. We're doing well to just making them force it, hitting hope. And there's that hitting hope. Guarantee on that one, though, he didn't hope. He just hit it. Tim. Into Hajj. Jamaica Bell's done well to put him under pressure there, but there's Jibs. A lovely turn. Plays that ball out to the outside of Connor. Now, as I say, you don't want him 1v1. You don't want him 1v1, he'll cut in. Has he got time to make Ah, surely! 
referee, that's a penalty, no? He said that's not a penalty at all. Now Jamaica Bell's tried to go, but hey. <laughs> the brick wall alley. He said he ain't getting past me. Jim's sending that one to Connor. But the keeper's come up. Had surely we could get a replay. Here we are. Connor clearly in front of the ball. The Jamaica Bell defender. He's gone straight through him. And Diesel, as you can see, was not happy about that. No way. Get in the comments. Is that a penalty to you? Academia family, let us know. Sam, doing the dirty work, defending. Yes, he's an attacker. We love to see it. Connor, man on his left shoulder, but it doesn't matter. He drives through the middle. He's driving two piece to his right. Can he release Key? Can he release? Oh, and the release is just a little bit too late. Even he knows that he should have released that one early. Jamaica Bell now, they're causing their self a problem. They're going through with their number eight. Plays it to their 16. He takes a strike and hey, Joe's always awake and ready. He hasn't had much to do, but when he does, he's ready. Thoughts on the first half, Lou? I think it's been a little bit... There's the boy Louis telling you, future of the club. There's a few of them now. Mark my words. We hope so. Back to the action with Joe. Putting the bunion on his toe right through it. I said to Hajj, we ought to keep Hey, the Jamaica Bell said we, we like part. them because they got to that first. Three times. Jibs, again, doing the dirty uh, work. Henry. You've got to appreciate it. But the thing is, we've got to react with it now. We've got to get... Hey, that's a nasty challenge. He's jumped off Jibs, the ball. Even he knew because he's just stood there. Scarecrow. Stay there. You can't be doing that. He's jumped off the floor. Studs up. That could be seriously dangerous, and it doesn't matter if it's a preseason game. That's got to go. That cannot be tolerated. What's happening there? Whoever that is, naughty challenge on James, and I'm not having it. Alright? He's not having it. Sidelines got mad. Lou, there's a ball there. Throw it. Let's have. Let's have a look. Go on, show how you do it. What's the left footer? Who got the flares? Who got the flares? Is the replay and look at that. That's not good at all. That's not good at all. That's not acceptable at all. Look at that. He's even gone over the ball. And we're, we're not a team to be calling people to get red cards here and there, but sorry. When it's something dangerous like that, we had someone on their team say to one of our guys, Oh, but is it only pre season? Oh, it's not that bad. But hold on, if he broke his leg, it would be that bad and you wouldn't be saying that. So the ref's got that spot on for me. The ref's got that spot on for me. So we move on now. No broken legs, just a red card for Jamaica Bell. 2P. Mr. Deliveries. Puts that in a dangerous area in this team to make it one zip. Timbo against his former club. That's why he's not celebrating. Got to give him respect. We hey, hear it. But the rest of us will. On, us and that us makes us selly. one us nil up. Respect. Again, from the man, Mr. Deliveries. There he is. Mr. Deliveries, man. Tell you what. I haven't seen someone like him who's been so consistent for a long time. Look at the whip on that. The keeper misjudged it, couldn't read it, and it's just a jug of fruit punch for the boy Timbo as he slots that one in to make us 1-0 up. A one nil up, but that's nothing yet. We're gonna take us into half time. 
Let's have a butchers at what the gaffer's got to say on the team. Remember academia family, we've got our club shop. Don't be shy. Go in there. Click the view details on what pieces and bits and bobs that you want. Put that in the basket. And I'm telling you now, I promise you'll be sorted. Academia Family Club Shop, now open. Go have a butcher's. You won't be disappointed. Boys, I know we're excited here, but please listen up. All right, so, hey, that first half, yeah, it was good, but you know me, I'm nitpicking. So, in that middle, yeah, one, two, maximum three touches, boys, yeah? But we really need to get to playing simple, bro. Like, Connor and Sam today, what I've asked for. Literally what I've asked for. Connor's got the ball and he's actually he's staying high and wide today, which I don't get why oh, you're on the left with that. But yeah, he's staying high and wide today and he's picking it up in areas and driving in. But the midfielders though, if we get two touches on the ball and we're setting each other, because we're not setting, we're not playing and setting right now and everyone on the side can see that. If we set earlier, i.e. Alex, I, I hate to use you here, but Marlon's made, I, Marlon's made so much runs that first half, yeah? And honestly, two, three touches, Marlon gets that ball earlier. On a big man thing, Alex driving forward, if he plays that in two, Marlon gets it, what? About just before the halfway line, and you're away, and you've got no one in front of you. How many times has Connor picked it up, turn, 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 and should have just turned, two touches, turn and play, and you're in. I'm not lying, bro. Sam's done it a few times as well. Two touches, around the outside, you're gone. You man are, you man are touching it and staying in. You always in. know how to hide, touch isn't it? Plan. Touch and go. You it's, always know it's how to hide. Boys. That's how you man are, bro, every time you touch and turn, have you not beaten? So then, that's my thing, touch and turn on goal. That's what the midfielders need to do as well, touch and turn, bro. Touch and turn, get used to playing forward and in areas, bro. Boys, from me, centre mid, I know you're asking for it. You're asking for it, not running towards the ball. I want a sharp movement, create space, yeah? Don't just stand by your man. Boys, let's... Play with heart, win this, lift it, and start the season strong. Don't yeah, get caught in the Everyone, yeah? Wait, wait. Start dominating. Academia on me! Academia on three! One, two, three, Academia! Okay, and we are back. One nil up. Big team talk. It's the final. Remember, it's not 45 minutes or half because it's the pre season summer league. It's only half an hour, so we've got 30 minutes to play until we get our hands on our first piece of silverware this season. Couple changes have been made. Oh, here's one now. TJ's through, but the keeper's kind of done very well when Jamaica Bell. Hey, hey, give me a step. Top man. But no. Here's Ethan, another sub that's come on. Hey, they're looking dangerous, they're looking hungry, they're looking sharp. So we've got TJ coming on. We've got Ethan on. But here's TJ. Using Sam. Oh, he's tried something there, but... They're number 10, he's done well. What's he seen there? Nothing. He's only seen the head of Timbo. Sam, into the lion part. It's been solid back there. To be honest, the whole defence has been solid, you know. The whole team's done very well, I must admit. I know that sounds like a cop-out, but everyone's pulled their weight. Everyone's pulled their weight throughout the whole tournament, to be honest. If we can get a clean sheet here, that just adds to Joe's clean sheet tally. Jamaica Bell just bopping it around, trying to find something, but we're doing very well, closing off all the space. And there's ads just showing, showing a little bit of the dark arts, and it, it's needed. It's needed. Got to have a bit of that here and there. But here's TJ on the ball. He passes it out to the left hand side. Rago's on it also. Jamaica Bell. Oh, it's a short back pass by Timbo, and then number twelve couldn't punish us. Yes, love that. 2P, just, you see what he brings to the team is grit, determination and that non-stop will to work. As you've seen then, he'll do the little things that people might not see as glamorous, but here's Ali playing it out to Sam. Again, that's another play, you don't want V1v1 v because he's gone just like that. 
Oh, and the number three's done very well. Very well. He's tried to get out there and there's a little bit of a little bit of back and forth, but as we say in football, it's only young bags. It's only young bags. Rolling over each other. Hey, here's the replay. Anyways, we move on. Jamaica Bell, they're chasing this 1-0 lead to us. They're trying to pile on some pressure. But there's two pieces of a strike. Hey, hey, keeper was awake for that one. It still spilt it a bit. Jamaica Bell sends that one down long. Didn't really go that far, but they've made use of it. And here they are now. To be honest, that looked a bit like they went into each other there. But, again, remember what I said earlier? Them handbags. They're out a bit. They're out a bit. Ref ushering the game to go on. He's done well to manage the situation there. And nothing comes of it, so we move on. Let's go, Roy. Jamaica Bell starting from the back, but you know their time is getting a bit short, so they've got to send that one long. They've got to try and get a bit of something. Talk about something, they're working their way down the left-hand side, cutting in. Ooh, that was a wide pass, but... Player still on it. He's trying to drive down to the line. Hey, Ronnie's got that one clear, but he's got clipped. He's got clipped as he was clearing it. That was clear as day. The ref's going over assessing the situation. Gonna go talk to his partner over there. Yeah, but Vin Diesel's a compliment, surely. That's just a couple of like, from building to building. Let's see what the result's going to be. That's got to be it, isn't it? Ronnie's just oh, come it? back from a is foot a injury, kick, I believe it was. Or the ball ended up fucking up it. A leg injury, one of the yeah, two. The Didn't like the challenge because it could have yeah, got him yeah, injured yeah. once more, which is understandable. But he's giving the ref a bit of mouth and a, a verbal and uh, the ref sent him off. So, hey, both team down to 10 men. This is where we work hard now. We work hard. Ethan. Tupi. He's seen TJ 1v1 at the back. Oh, the defenders hit it through and that's going to suit T down to the ground. And that is 2-0 to the Academia boys. And as you can see, this is what it means to the boys. We're all running over. Ali's got his little boy there. So, hey, hey, we've had to stop the celebrations. Make sure the little family members are good. We don't want to get him too into the crowd there. You get crushed, man, the poor one. Hey, there he is there, but he, he told you, this club is a family club. And the kids are joining in the celebration, man. We love to see it, but we don't want to see them get hurt, yeah? So that's the first priority. But we move. We move. And that's Academia ting nil up in the final with, what, a minute to go. Jamaica Bell, now, I mean, if they come back from this... That's got to hit the papers, no? And unfortunately, we can't. And we finished the game 2-0.
But we got a big up Jamaica Bell. They gave us a good game. They never tired. So big up Jamaica Bell. Good luck to you for the season upcoming. But let's move on to the celebrations. Academia on me, Academia on free. Academia family, that's all from me. Enjoy the celebrations. We'll see you on the next episode. When that will be, I cannot give you a definite date. But once we do know when our next friendly is, if we can get another friendly, we will be sure to let you know the Academia family. But for now, please rest up. Enjoy. The season starting real soon. Early September. That's going to be the 8th of September. We'll see you then. If not before. Love. As per. Ross, there we are. Told you, let's get it. What we're saying is, start, start the season. Yeah, start the season uh, as gaffer, under, undefeated, uh, and you score in the final. Black. Yeah, come on, let's do this. Come on. Straight, <laughs> come on. Yes, buddy. Thank you very much. Oh, you're clutching the straws. Yeah. Say, man, punch someone. Come on. Ah, well done, bro. Like the way we won wasn't very good or something. No, I just said, then, I was saying, who punched you? Punch Cheers, Lionel. Thank you. Cheers, Lionel. Thank you. Hey, Key. I saw a lot of pics. I saw a lot of pics. There is film. I saw a big tackle in there. How many is that now? You want a bigger shit? I fucking love it. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What are we saying then, main character syndrome? What have you got to say for that? Final little bit, Lil. Huh? Final little bit. Uh, Thoughts on the game? I, I said the second half, yeah, would be better. And what was it? It was a lot better. So. W for the boys. I can't believe you ain't wearing any academia merch, I've got to be honest. It's shocking, really. <laughs> Jeez, get on the story now, Josh. <laughs> Big dog. <laughs> You know what? So you know who? Um, just uh, a word of thanks to the match official tonight. Without who? Thank you, Lionel. 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 Thank
Oh, yeah. oh, it, it might be <laughs> semi <laughs> You don't need no Nando's. No, hold it, hold it, hold it. It might be semi five. That's, that's get cheat on the way. Oi, oi, oi. Cheat bastard. What's he talking about, Andrew Quinn? Who? Casino? Who, me? Yeah. Here we are, them boys. So put one on me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, Fats. Happy birthday to you. Fats, get it. Wait, 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 wait,